So this is how I plan our next week's menu. I kind of have like sections and categories. I separate them into frozen veggies, toiletries, and others. And I'm telling you, she's gonna grab another bag of chips. Told you so. So I just bought pizza and they told me to wait for 20 minutes. Hey everyone, it's Justin Bay and welcome to another health and fitness vlog. If you want to lose weight, maintain weight, or make a lifestyle change, then you are on the right channel. Hi everyone, what's up? So for today's video, we're going to be meal planning, making a grocery list, and getting some groceries. Today's Friday and tomorrow we're going to be going to SNR to buy groceries and before we do that, I really like to plan our meals first and make a grocery list because if you have a list, it would be easier for you to get groceries. You know what you should get and you know which aisle you should go to. So yeah, I'm going to be showing you how I plan our meals. So this is how I plan our next week's menu. So I have this sheet and I have the days of the week. I also have these rows, breakfast, lunch, and dinner just to be organized. And as you can see, I didn't put anything on the breakfast row because here at home, everyone has different breakfast meals so I cannot leave it blank and i only fill the lunch row and this is because usually what's for lunch is also what we're going to be having for dinner I already filled this sheet and we already have a menu for next week and my family helped me decide on this and i really don't want to show you how we plan our meals because it's kind of chaotic <laughs> So I have here some dishes that we've already had. This is also really helpful because we can just choose recipes here. Okay, so now that we have this week's menu, let's go make a grocery list. So after meal planning, I like to make a grocery list. This is my grocery list, you guys, and this is how I do it. I kind of have like sections and categories. I separate them into frozen veggies, toiletries, and others. When it comes to frozen, these are actually like the meat, everything for next week's menu. Here for the veggies, same garlic, potatoes, carrots. These are like our essentials. This section is kind of like our pantry essential something that isn't in the meal plan we kind of always have to like have them in our pantry the oatmeal the peanut butter coffee oh yeah the reason why i have these categories in my list is because you know as i said it's easier for me to know like what to get when i'm in this specific aisle so for example if i'm in the frozen section i know that i'll be getting chicken and pork and bacon and yeah, aside from doing like the grocery list itself, it's already like a good job. But I also highly recommend that you do these categories because it's very, very convenient. And yeah, so we're done with our meal plan and our grocery list. So I'll see you guys tomorrow when we go to the grocery store. Hey guys, so I just finished eating breakfast and I'm already dressed up. I had french toast and a tortilla wrap with chickpeas for breakfast and yeah, I even burnt my tortilla wrap because <laughs> I left it in the oven toaster. I'm just doing my journal while waiting for my mom. We're supposed to leave at 9, still 8. So it's the end of April, and at the end of the month, we like to go to SNR to like buy groceries in big batches because we don't really have much 
time in the next few weeks. We don't want to spend too much time in, in the grocery store. So that's why we want to buy things in bulk. And yeah, yesterday I showed you guys how I plan our meals and we also made a grocery list. So yeah, that's what we're going to be getting later. And yeah, I'll just do my journal and read and I'll see you guys later. Okay, we're here and let's get started. First, the pantry staples from the list, peanut butter, almonds, walnuts, of course, and dried berries. So for the dried berries, we alternate cranberries and raisins. Of course, tuna because it's also our favorite. I always kind of need sugar, so this is an essential when it comes to baking. So let me just grab that. Our oat milk. So we always get at least three of these because oat milk is so hard to find in other grocery stores. Of course, the oatmeal and we always prefer whole rolled oats. And you guys, this is my favorite aisle. So colorful and I just like that it confuses me on which cereal to buy. And never forget this section, the fruits and vegetables. So this is where you can buy fresh food. And yes, from our list, our essentials, the carrots, potatoes, garlic, peppers, and onions. Now on to the meat section. I clearly forgot to film here, but here's what we got. I have here the chicken, the pork, and some fish. On to more pantry essentials, yogurt. This is very convenient. And when we go to SNR, we never forget our bagels. You guys, never forget your carbs. Also, don't forget your pets. After everything we have from the list, we just usually wander off from it. Now, we're grabbing nachos. And my mom, she never forgets her chips. She likes picnic so much, as you can see. And I'm telling you, she's gonna grab another bag of chips. Told you so. So yeah, you just basically watched me and my mom grabbing things in the grocery store. So I just bought pizza and they told me to wait for 20 minutes. And before I forget, we also bought dessert. Yeah, that's it for today, you guys. I showed you how we plan our meals, how I make the grocery list, and what we get in the grocery store. But yeah, I made this video because I highly recommend that you do meal planning and making a list before you go to the grocery. It's very, very convenient and it would make things a lot easier. For you. Yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you want to build healthy habits or switch to a healthier lifestyle or maybe you're already living a healthy life and you want to go to the next level, don't hesitate to book an appointment with me. I can help you. We can work together. The link is down below. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Thank you. See you again next time.